Um, yeah, I just think that it was a great game for us to be in attack mode. I thought that was really um, great that Lexi could come out the way she did. And then, of course, you know, Becca could play play off that with her and do, and do what she does. I thought we grew as a team. I thought we got a great contribution from um, Lene Belton in terms of her strength inside. Uh, rebounding is an issue for us. It still is an issue for us. Um, and I think the second half we didn't rebound very well. but. We had someone like Lene come in and do what she did, which was great. Kyra was steady as steady could be, getting her eight assists, and also her six rebounds, three offensive was good. Um, getting to the free throw line, we liked that a lot. So I just thought we got better and got to apply some things um, and just grow as a team, and we're excited to hit the road and, and do that some more. You had two long stretches of points where you had like a 12 over in the first half, and then you scored 18 in a row over the second and third quarters there. So. Um, what did you see in those stretches when you guys really were taking control of the game as far as on both ends of the court? I just saw energy. Energy from Lexi, energy from Becca, energy from Kyra, energy from everybody. There was usually a defensive steal, mm -hmm. something involved in that. Um, and I just thought, again, we played off each other, and that's how you could get those runs. So we were aggressive. People were ready to uh, attack. But I think it's the combination, you know, defense to offense uh, type of pushing the ball. Lexi, you're obviously an offensive line player. You've had all of this best, and it was a great night for you on the offensive side. But how much of it is your defense leading to your offense when you guys get out of position? And yeah, out of I think that's the biggest part of my game personally is I like to get after on the defensive end because you can always control it. You can control your effort. You can control getting on help side. You can control talking on defense. Um, I like to have a lot of energy and let that trickle down to the rest of the team. So when we start off well defensively, I know that we're all going to have a pretty solid game. Jens, and like, obviously you play power more than the point, makes more off the ball tonight. Is that something we should expect to see more as the season progresses? No, well, I think that's just the way it happens sometimes. I don't think there's a concerted effort. I'm very happy with Lexi with the ball or without, you know, off ball. I think Kyra does some nice things too there. So I think they, I think the key is just learning to play with each other and, and knowing when it's time to take the ball. I mean, it might be that Kyra's a point for various moments, but then Lexi needs to take it and do some things. So we're, we're learning when is the time to kind of switch up and how to play off each other there. Is that where you saw improvement today from Sunday in that area? or is Yeah, there I, well, else? definitely our guard play was uh, just a, very attacking and very good tonight. Um, but I do th I saw improvement there, just improvement in all execution, really, the things that we were doing. Um, but I think the benefit of having great guard play is that everybody can do a little something and that you know who should have the ball at what time. That's a critical element. I think into that a little bit more. It seemed like Duke was slow to start the first three, four minutes, but with the exception, you were clearly hunting your shot. Did you, did you kind of sense that Duke needed to live at that point? Um, I just think we were just going with the flow of the game. Um, I think it was we were just trading baskets, and we haven't really been at a, we haven't had a start of a game that way before, so I think it just took a little bit of time for us to get into the rhythm of the game. Um, I'm blessed to be on a team that we can go so deep because I think we wore them down. I think that's when our runs started. But you tied for the team lead in rebounds. You've been the lead rebound a few times this year. Can you talk about that? <laughs> the development of that part of your game? Um, yeah, definitely trying to be. Uh, I've been focusing on rebounding a lot more, um, especially since last game. I tried to turn into this game, really honing in on that. And it's really. Um, just been a huge focus for me this season. Julian, you made a switch in the starting line. Is that based on something that you saw in practice, or just did? trying to get? You know, right now we have four starters, that, and then we have really, you know, three, I should say, really three solid starters and people that we can then rotate. So I'm going to give people a chance. You know, Kendall got an opportunity to be out there. I thought Lene was uh, very good tonight and, and and really did a good job, but. You know, people, in terms of a team, I'm, I'm really more interested in finishers and who's in there when the game is determined. And Aaron can do it, Lene can do it, um, Kendall can do it. But you got to do it consistently if you're going to be in the lineup all the time. So You, you talked about, you heard, you seemed animated after a couple of times when Sam had a couple of good shots. How was it just evolving your defense, trying to figure how you were going to cover her and sort of, you know, keep her under control after they jumped out and had a bit of a strong start and they sort of... Well, just up. great, you know, team defense. And all of us felt it per took it personally. She's a very good player. Obviously, she had a great game. 
um, we were honing in on her and trying to stop her. Um, I think that's a great lesson for us. I think that's something we can work on in the future. Um, we, we did things better later against her. Had we done that, those things earlier, she might have had less points. So I think we adjusted and got better on her. But once you let a player like that get started, that's a little bit of trouble. So we've got to work on that more aggressively, I think, to start. We saw Crystal come back walking and she's fine. Time. She's fine. Yep, she's fine. We bought her written off, but she's yeah. Fine. I'm sure you kind of went uh oh. Yeah, she's she's a good kid. She has a good sense of humor. <laughs> Any more questions? All right. Thank you guys. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thank you.